Something I never really covered was voicing and tuning of the pipes. I have the reservoir spring adjusted to where the bellows and the reservoir assembly are delivering six inches of water pressure. I've taken some tape and blocked off all the holes except one. I'm going to slide this cover back and forth until I find the best place for the sound coming out of this pipe. If it gets down here too far, it'll sound breathy, kind of or hollow. And if you get up here, it starts squelching and screeching and it sounds terrible, so let's do it. Come back here, it sounds breathy. You get up there too far, it starts uh, squelching. Now you move the tuning plug up until it's to the right note. That's on G. Now I put a couple of marks here where it sounded the best. I can come right back to that point. I've done this before and I marked where the top of these tuning plugs were and I cut the end of the pipe off a half an inch above that point and that should make my plug stick out exactly one inch. I know where that cover needs to go on there and I will sand that to the correct length back here. When I glue that on, I move that right up to those marks that I made put a couple of clamps on there and let it dry and then do a final tuning these are three pipes that are going to fit on the inside of the argon case and these are D, D sharp and E now these have already been voiced and tuned yeah, I don't know if you can see this in the video but I've marked where the covers have to come up to we'll start with D D sharp if I go too high if I go too low it's breathy and then E down here it's breathy still breathy Squelch. You want a loud, clear note for this pipe. I'll move this right up to the mark where you had it before and glue it in place. And your plug will be pushed in until it shows exactly the correct note for that pipe. And again, this will be E. You want to voice and tune the pipes on the air supply that they will be installed with. So if these pipes are going to be used in this organ, you use this reservoir and bellows to voice and tune these pipes. You will have to initially voice each of the pipes to determine how long it's going to be. And I made all of my pipes longer than needed. Once I determined the length, I pulled the plugs back out, cut them to length, and then come back and check the voicing and tuning one more time before I glue these on here. Uh, it's kind of final once you glue those in place. You want to make sure you do it right. And then you want to tune all of the pipes, all 20 pipes, on the same day and as close to the same time as possible. 
and preferably on an average day for where you live. Average temperature, average humidity, and you'll have a good result. You don't want to be doing it on a windy day. You don't want to be doing it on a stormy, rainy day. Climatic changes will cause the pipes to change in tune a little bit, plus or minus, but as a whole, the entire organ will be equally out of tune and you won't be able to tell the difference.